what is up? Today I am going to be showing you how to do text behind objects animated. Um, you can do it coming out of anything really, like behind walls, behind people. You can just be creative with it, with it but I'm just going to be showing you a simple way of doing it. So what you want is a clip or a cinematic, I'm using a cinematic, where there isn't much movement and there's things that you can hide stuff behind, so like say this player here, or the car, or whatever, but there's things like that. So I will put a download to this cinematic in the description, so that you can look and try it on here. But first off, what you want to do is disable resample and untick maintain aspect ratio, and you want to go to pan and crop, and you want to zoom in a little bit like this and what I'm going to do here is find a bit where I want the text to start coming out so I'm going to do it right there because he's got a weird look on his face so right where I want the text to come out I'm going to go to up here to the quality and put it onto best full and I'm going to go to this little icon and save, save snapshot make sure you've got it on PNG down here on the save as type so it's the best quality and then make sure you change your quality back to whatever you had it on in the first place just so it doesn't lag when you're editing so now you've got your snapshot where your cursor is where you've took the snapshot you just want to sp split the video and drag this bit to the side for now because we don't need it and you want to drag your image in onto um, where you split and now what we're going to do is get some text so what you want to do is right click and go insert text media and write what you want I am going to write tutorial like I did before and type more if I'm handy because I'm using the mic and then just size up to what you want and I go there I'm going to change the color to black and um, just move this over the top so I can see what it looks like and then I'm going to just change it to this font obviously you can do whatever you want with it but now we're just going to move this to the side for a minute because what we're going to be doing now is masking out where we're going to be putting the text so what you want to do is right click on your image copy and paste it above and now you want to go into on the slave just pasted above you want to go into event pan crop and hit down here the mask tool right where my cursor is now and now what we're going to be doing is masking around where we want the text to be hidden so I'm going to first off do it around this character so on the side you want the text to be coming out of you want that to be neat but on this side we can just do this just go around and then when you get to the bit where you text is going to be coming out you want to do it as neat as you can like this or you know I'm obviously just doing it a bit rough but do it as close to the character as you can just so that it looks perfect coming out so that should be fine and then just join it back up and you will notice nothing's happened so far but if you drag this bottom out you can see that that is masked so now what we're going to do is right click and right click on this top layer and insert video track and then drag this one above to so it's got a gap in the middle and this is where the text is going to go right here in the middle and you want to go into event pan crop and now you'll notice that this can go just hides in here like this so all it is now is keyframing so you just want to get it lined up to where you want it to go in and once you've got it in a position go down to this little icon and put it so it's moving X only so it just moves sideways so on the starting keyframe you want it to be hidden like this and then you want to go ahead a little bit on the timeline here and then you want to drag this out you could just do it easily just drag it out there then go ahead and drag it back but what we're going to be doing is animating it so it looks like it's hit and then come back so it's like that like pretty cool so you want to drag it out to the uh, right or left or whatever a bit more than you want it to go so about there and then you want to go ahead a tiny bit again and then drag it back 
like this a bit, that, like drag it back to the left a bit, and then go ahead a little bit more, like I have done here, so, and then drag it to where you want it. So now, if you notice, that was a bit, I went a bit fast there, but got this keyframe where it comes out to the right, it hits that one, it goes back, and so it looks like it's hit a wall, come back and bounce back. So now we'll see what this looks like on here. That is obviously way too fast, so all you want to do is just play around with these until you get them right. So just keep, all it is is just trial and error, just playing around with these. That looks good there. So that's come out. If you want to do one behind now, or actually, sorry, now that we've got it to come out, we're going to want it to go back in. So you want to leave it a good amount of time before you want it to go back in. So I want it to go back in about here. So you want to click back on event pan crop. And if you've got your sync cursor selected, it should be in time. But if you haven't, you just go ahead on here. And then once you've got it in the place we want it to go back in, add another keyframe. Go ahead a little bit. You don't want to go ahead too far, but you just want to go ahead about, well, I'm not sure, about half a, well, about a few, 20 keyframes or so. And then just drag it back so it's hidden behind the body. And that sounds dodgy. <laughs> but this is what it'll look like in the end. That looks really cool. You could do the one behind the car like I did. And it's pretty much the same. I'll just show you quickly. All you do is just add new video tracks and you paste this again here and you just do the same thing but this time masking out the car like that mask out the car and then I'm just gonna just for quick sake just and then you just do exactly the same drag it above paste I'm just pasting this so you find the where this text is going in so it's going in there and you basically just drag it up to here like this get rid of the keyframes like so and just position it up to where you want it like this so that we want it to be rotated so you just go on this circle rotate it like that like that also just you know just rotate it to whatever you want and then hit on here again you want it moving Y only now so it's going up drag it down like this and basically do the same thing go ahead a little bit make it come up to a bit up more than you want it to go up go ahead a little bit make it go down a bit less than you want it to go be perfect and then go ahead a bit more then leave a bit more of a gap than you did th for this and make it go into the perfect place and then we'll see what this looks like oh we've got a bit of a that's just the placement though if I had it a bit higher it'd be fine it's just because I've masked out the car but this one comes out goes back in that one comes out that's obviously too fast so we'll just fix this quickly just by dragging these keyframes out so maybe this will be better, let's have a look yeah that's alright and then you go to where you want it to go back in add a keyframe go ahead a little bit drag it down and that is all there is to it it's just masking out things, animating and in the end it does look really cool so that is it this video is coming to an end I have some more edits up soon because I'm planning on doing some more things and um, yeah I'm almost at 1k so I'll be doing a massive editing contest at 1k for some cool prizes so yeah if this video did help then be sure to like it and leave a comment thank you for watching see you later